Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Plant Based Storm. I'm Stormy, and today I am going to do a special recipe, something that I've been wanting to do, and it's going to be a greens gumbo. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I've already cut a lot of things up because I didn't think you wanted to see me chopping like you've seen me chop a hundred thousand times already. So everything's pretty much already cut up um, because we've got a lot of work to do anyway. So let's get started. Okay y'all, so here I've got four um, stalks of celery cut up. This is a whole large onion right here cut up. And then this is probably about a good cup of sweet peppers. Um, usually calls for a bell pepper or two. So this is considered the holy trinity of Cajun cooking with the bell pepper, the celery, and the onion. And I'm gonna put this all in here together. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the eye and we're gonna let that start cooking while we get the roux together. Okay, and the eye has been set to high so that it can go ahead and start cooking. And then whenever it really gets going, I'll turn it back down a bit. Okay, y'all, and we got a big, uh, we got two big garlic cloves here that I'm gonna add to the Trinity. And we're just gonna let that all cook until it gets nice and tender and the onions are clear. We want the celery to be tender too. We don't want crunchy celery. I'm gonna go ahead and add, add some pepper in here and you can just do this to taste. Let this go ahead and cook with that. All right, and now I'm gonna go ahead and start the roux. I'm gonna turn this on and get start getting this nice and hot. All right, I'm using a quarter cup of regular flour. And I'm also going to use a quarter cup of oat flour for a total of a half cup. Okay. And this is very important to stand here and you normally cook this in oil, but we're not going to use oil today because we're making a whole food plant-based oil-free gumbo. So you're going to cook this and you're going to be able to smell it cooking. Like I said, this is on high and it's super hot. You cannot walk away from this or it will burn in an instant. And you've got to continuously stir and you're gonna watch for this flour to change color. And it's not gonna get like as dark as it would uh, like if you were making a traditional roux with oil. You can smell the flour cooking when you're doing this. You can see that this has started to change color. And you really want to be careful. I'm going to turn the eye down here a little bit because I don't want it to burn. So you really have to stir this super good. I don't know if you can see the color change on the camera or not. Okay, that's probably pretty good. Now you could keep going, I guess, if you wanted to. I don't want this to burn. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it. Right in to that. And then I'm gonna mix this up. And let this get coated really well. And I'm gonna add in just a little bit of liquid to help that along. Right, and this is where you're going to make your root. I'm just going to end up pouring in this whole container. And you can see how thick this is. I'm just going to continue to pour that in there. And then 
and this is a little bit of salt-free Creole seasoning I'm gonna add in here. Okay, and then I'm gonna add in a tablespoon or so, maybe two, of this Worcestershire sauce. Okay, so these greens have already been cleaned, but what I have in here is one bunch of turnip greens, a bunch of mustard greens, and a bunch of collard greens, and a half of a head of green cabbage. So these were all the greens that I bought and I'm using from my grocery haul that I posted today. I'm just gonna add these right into the pot. So I'm gonna let this come up and really push these greens down in there. Now these will cook down a whole lot once it gets hot. I've got it on high. I'm gonna let this come up to a boil and then I'll turn it down and simmer it probably about 30 minutes or so. All right, you can see this is bubbling and boiling pretty good. I'm gonna turn this down. Okay, so you can see how the greens have already started to cook down some. And we're just gonna let this go for about 30 minutes, like I said. And we'll come back and check it. You want it to kind of be bubbling a little bit. Let me turn it up just a tad. And a side note, if you are cooking uh, in a cast iron skillet or something that is non-stick, I mean, that's not non-stick, then you want to make sure that whenever you have it turned on high that your bottom doesn't burn because with the flour in here it would have a tendency to burn so I wouldn't want you to burn your um, your gumbo so anyway that's just a little tip that I have for that okay after this is cooked for about 15 minutes I'm gonna put in a tablespoon or so uh, garlic powder a tablespoon of onion powder Actually, I think I got that backwards. This was the garlic, the other was the onion. But since it's the same amount, it doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to do a about a teaspoon of poultry seasoning. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stir that in. And then I'm going to put in some nutritional yeast and a little bit of cayenne and pepper. Cayenne pepper you can do to taste. I'm just gonna do a little bit. Just adding in some nutritional yeast. I'd say probably like a quarter cup, maybe a half cup. Add that in. Nice, good, big stir. You can see how nice and thick this is getting. And then we're just going to keep letting it cook for another 15 minutes. I mean, you can even let it cook for 45 minutes or so if you wanted to, an hour. The longer this cooks together, the more the flavors are going to marry and meld together well. So it's up to you. Y'all, this smells so good. Okay. There is a nice big bowl of greens gumbo. It's nice and thick. And 
Some people like to add gumbo filet to their gumbo. I'm not a huge fan. I'll eat it every once in a while. My husband likes to add this. Um, it is ground sassafras. And it will thicken up the gumbo some more as well and it adds a unique flavor to it. Y'all, thank you so much for joining me tonight for a, another quick video. I hope this is something that you will try and enjoy. Gumbo is one of our favorite things to cook and it is a tradition uh, in my family as long as I can remember. And as always, thank you so much for watching.